is Bill for Sparky Channel and today I have two load centers here for you and the one on your left is a Square D home line load center and the one on the right is a Siemens load center and my subject today is going to be to compare and contrast the neutral bonding screws see here's the neutral bonding screws they're both one inch in length and the home line is one quarter inch by 20 there's 20 threads in the inch and this one is one quarter inch by 32 so you got some finer threads here for the Siemens there's only one instance where you want to bond together your equipment grounding conductor and the neutral bar that is when your panel is the first panel of disconnect okay these are convertible panels both of these you can add a main breaker and it'll say right on the panel uh, what main breakers are allowed and so you put a main breaker here and if this is the first disconnect if this is the panel of first disconnect then you have to bond together your equipment grounding conductor and your neutral bar see these are both plug-on neutral bars but if you're going to use this as the first panel of disconnect you must 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 bond together the equipment grounding conductor and the neutral bar okay and the way you do that is to use neutral bonding screws and the way this comes on the Siemens is it actually comes partially installed just like that the way this comes on the home line is you have to go find it someplace <laughs> they don't give you one with the panel or at least they didn't give one to me so I actually got this at Home Depot and what they do at Home Depot anyway is they sell you this six pack there's three kinds of neutral bonding screws and there's two of each that does give you the neutral bonding screw that you need and it goes right here so I, I want to emphasize that you bond the equipment grounding conductor and the neutral bar at the first panel of disconnect and there's there's different methods you know this is a neutral bonding screw uh, there may be neutral bonding straps that serve this function but in this case if you do use one of these panels as your first panel of disconnect you must 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 use this screw right here as a neutral bonding screw here is an example this is your service entrance cable right here and it comes in to a meter enclosure the meter goes right here and here is a main disconnect right here so the neutral and the ground must be bonded together in this panel this is a Siemens load center and it's a, the same exact model that I showed you earlier and it's called the main lug only load center because it just has main lugs right here it does not have a service disconnect and this is your neutral service entrance cable which is also called the grounded conductor so here we have a picture of this Millbank meter enclosure with service disconnect and here's kind of a close-up of it where you can see where the neutral service entrance cable connects right here and this is called a main bonding jumper you see we don't use the neutral bonding screw in this system this is more heavy duty and it's permanent it's permanently installed because you know that this is always going to be the first panel of disconnect here's your disconnect right here so we have the neutral service entrance cable come in here then we have a main bonding jumper goes down to the equipment grounding conductor right here and this main body jumper is a copper strap that is plated with tin so that is how we accomplish the neutral and the ground bonding at the first panel of disconnect here we are at NEC 2020 250.24b so it says uh, for a grounded system this is a grounded system an unspliced main bonding jumper that's this right here it goes from the neutral to the EGC see this metal right here and 
That's your main bonding jumper, and it shall be used to connect the equipment grounding conductors and the service disconnect enclosure. See, this is connected to the enclosure, to the grounded conductor. So you got the enclosure, you got the EGC, you got the grounded conductor. They're all connected together now here at this enclosure. So you only use a neutral bonding screw if your panel is the first panel of disconnect. But now let's compare and contrast these two neutral bonding screws of these two different brands. I believe that Siemens has a better neutral bonding screw because it has finer threads and it has a number two square slot right here, which is much easier for torquing. Siemens calls out that their neutral bonding screw for this panel be torqued at 45 pound inches, while Homeline calls out that their neutral bonding screw for this panel needs to be torqued to 35 pound inches. I'm gonna use my, my Weeha torquing screwdriver. You might wanna start this with a screw gun. Be a little quicker. Okay. So now I have this set to 45 pound inches and I have my number two square drive on here. There. Okay, that's torqued to 45 pound inches. To tighten the home line neutral bonding screw, I will use my Weeha Zeno number two drive. I've changed this to 35 pound inches. Once again, you might want to just start with a drill driver. Okay. There. So this is 35 pound inches and this is 45 pound inches. Remember, you only use the neutral bonding screws when you're using your panel as the first panel of disconnect. Okay, and make sure you torque them to the correct amount. Thanks, I hope this video was helpful.